Hello everyone, thank you for watching another Generation Gap Reacts video. We are listening to another meatloaf song. This time I will do anything for love. Well, I feel like I've rediscovered meatloaf. Of course, years, years, years ago I've heard of meatloaf, but I've never really paid that much attention to him. But I was so excited with the last song and now I'm excited about this song. I feel like I've heard this song. It sounds really familiar, but um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really familiar with his music. So I'm curious if I, if I've heard it before, I would do anything for love. I feel like I've heard, right. I've heard a female singer cover that song before. Cause what's coming to my mind is a female singer. Maybe it was on Glee or something. And, it, it <laughs> and I be. heard the song on Glee, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know Meatloaf's. Obviously, he's the original, so I'm super excited because I love Paradise by the Dashboard Light. That was so much fun. The theatrics and his stage presence and his acting, and he just seems like so much fun. So much fun, a little bit of comedy in there. Exactly. <laughs> Had us cracking up. So are you ready to get started? Yes, I am. All right. Some days 
He is so much fun. <laughs> what a performer. He is so much fun. His songs just are all over the place in a good way. I mean, they don't... F I've said this about some other songs before, but it's the same for this one. Is His songs don't follow traditional song structure. Like it's up and then down and then up and then down. And then the chorus changes and then the verses are kind of different. And he, he just takes you on a ride, basically, with his songs. And they're just so much fun. I love the piano. I love his voice. It's very theatrical, but even without the music video, even in his voice and in the instruments and in the song, it's very theatrical. Yes, and there's like a little quiver in his voice. Yeah, I heard that. Which yeah. adds to that emotion. Right. He's the beast and he doesn't think he'll, the, the beauty is going to love him. He's trying to hide from her, but watch her secretly and and it's just brilliant how he added that quiver to his voice because it's appropriate yeah and it really gets into that emotion of the song you're right yeah good catch <laughs>
Andy. I love Meatloaf. An, another fantastic performance. He's an actor. I mean, the other yeah. one, the other song we did, it was funny and humorous. This one was a little sad and mysterious and... And, um, did I say sad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very theatrical. It was very theatrical in his face. And you, he really puts a lot of acting and emotion, <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> into his performance. And the last one was like a live performance. This one's a music video. But... It, it was like watching a movie unfold. Yes. And then I love the added female vocals. I don't know if that's something he does a lot or just the last two Meatloaf songs we happened to hear had added female vocals, but I really do feel like it adds to that, you know, Phantom of the Opera kind of thing, duet kind of feel. You get his perspective and then you get her chiming in. I like that observation. Yeah, and it, it just... Yeah, that's the feeling. And I love this song. I've definitely heard it, but I have not heard Meatloaf singing it. I, I definitely feel like I've heard a female singer. It must have been on something like Glee or commercial or a TV show. Something. Because the song was recognizable, but only the I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. The rest of the song was new for me. And like I said, it just takes you on a journey because it goes slow. And then it picks up and it's like rock and you're like, yeah, and you're just like bopping your head and like getting into it. And then it goes all slow again. And then it has this build up and you think it's gonna like start rocking out and then it goes slow again. And it's just such a journey. It's just such a roller coaster of emotions and and ups and downs and stuff. He's He's so cool with that. He is, and there was something I was going to say, and I forgot. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Wait, what no, I hate it? when that happens. I know. Sometimes, um, you know, we have to pause midway through or something like that with some of our songs because you just have so many things to talk about. If you wait to the end of the video, you're gonna forget. So if we waited until the end of the video before we made certain comments, we would just forget them all. And I got a comment one time, this was a long time ago, and some person was annoyed that we paused the video. And they were like, well, and then I responded and I said, well, we, we would forget. If I didn't pause at least once or twice, I would forget all my thoughts. And then they wrote back and they said, well, write it down. When you're watching the video, <laughs> write it down. And I'm like, how am I supposed to be paying attention to the song and or the music video if it's accompanied by one? If I'm sitting over here just like... I don't think I could do that. Right, and I don't think people want to watch me with a notepad just like... <sighs> <laughs> well, now I remember what I was going to say. Oh, okay. Okay, when he said... I will do anything for love, but I won't do that. What is the, what is it that he won't do? I was wondering the same thing. I didn't want to ask you and come across as though I didn't know. I don't know. We, I guess we don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I thought, I thought it would, that it would kind of show it at some point in the video. It right. did kind of look like at some point someone was murdered. That's why the cops were showing up. Cause you know, there's, there's blood, he killed someone, or I don't know, I didn't quite get it. I did not, I mean, I, I understand that the two of them went off into the sunset together, but I don't quite understand the ending because, but I won't do that, so. Yeah, he almost seemed like kind of vampire-y at some point because he didn't beastie because he didn't want to be like out in the sun and then i thought oh it's kind of giving me beauty and the beast kind of vibes and then it was kind of giving me phantom of the opera kind of vibes like he wants to cover his face but then you know beauty and the beast is sort of like that like the beast didn't want to be in the light and you know show his face so i wonder what the, that is you know, he would do I'm, anything for love. I'm wondering if the thing that he doesn't want to do is showing his face 
to the woman he loves? Can you please enlighten us? Yes, if you know, let us know, because I'm curious. What is it that he won't do? Because <laughs> then when she started singing, and then, you know, oh, can you, you know, take the pain or take away the, you know, the coldness of the world, and he said, I could do that. So, because I was thinking, like, is this like a vampire thing, and he doesn't want to turn her, or, I mean, then it, it, it didn't seem Ooh. that way anymore. Um, it didn't seem vampire-y anymore. It seemed more Beauty and the Beast kind of, like a beast kind of thing. So, yeah. I didn't want to ask because I didn't want to come across as though. No, I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking the whole time. Now, what is it that he won't do? Maybe we'll find out at the end. But there was no answers. Yeah, and it did seem like a Beauty and the Beast thing because then his, you know, his monster face went away. I think... Maybe because she accepted him and she was staring into his eyes and kind of touching his face and she she loved him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but it's a great song. So maybe it's part of the mystery of the song or we're just Naive. clueless. <laughs> Naive, clueless. <laughs> we're just, I'm just going to say that we just don't know enough about this song. Maybe. Because we're new to Meatloaf. Okay, yeah. So forgive us for that. <laughs> so anyway, that was a lot of fun. I can't wait to do more Meatloaf. Two out of three and bad is going to be our next Meatloaf song. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I, <laughs> I love his music. I can't believe I've never really listened to it before. But I'm, I'm going to have to start listening to more of his songs. So... If you liked this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, let us know if there are any other songs or artists you'd like us to react to, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.